Hi, um, I'm George Ellison, and this is Dave Scott, and we're coming to you from Acme Guitar Works, and we wanted to tell you about this guitar that we have uh, hot-rotted, and um, I'm going to talk a little bit about it, and then Dave's going to demonstrate it. It's a particularly nice guitar. Uh, these guitars uh, come to us from Fender. We're an authorized Fender dealer, and we sell them new with a full factory warranty, uh, but we modify them to make them play and sound uh, at top level. And, uh, you know, the idea is that there are a lot of really expensive guitars out there you can spend your money on. Many of them are fantastic guitars. Uh, but we think that you should be able to own a really fantastic guitar for reasonable money that any, any gigging musician can reasonably expect to be able to afford. These, this particular guitar is a Roadworn Telecaster. I really like these guitars. I like the way the necks feel on them. Uh, some people, uh, you know, like the Relic concept. Other people don't like it. But I'll tell you what, they sure are comfortable to play. They have very little finish on the neck. And uh, everything just feels really, uh, really sort of silky smooth. Very little friction and uh, real comfortable. Uh, we've modified this guitar. Ordinarily, they ship with a 7 and a quarter inch fretboard radius uh, from Fender because that's what Fender used in the 50s and 60s. And so this is sort of a vintage reissue guitar that's been uh, hot rotted. That's the way it ships from Fender. Um, but we have refretted it and re-rate is the fretboard because uh, some, a lot of guys out there like the, uh, a flatter fretboard radius and, and, and in a lot of Fender production they're currently doing a flatter radius of nine and a half inches rather than the seven and a quarter from the vintage guitars. Um, since some players prefer the, the, the nine and a half inch radius we've refretted this guitar and uh, we resurfaced the fretboard uh, taking it from seven and a quarter to nine and a half. So for somebody that's used to a more modern Fender guitar, it's going to feel uh, it's going to feel real uh, familiar. Uh, we put 6150 fret wire on here. It ships uh, with taller fret wire than that, 6105. Uh, 6150 is sort of a medium jumbo. It's not quite as tall as 6105, but it's a, it's uh, I think it's the same width, or it's pretty close to the same width anyway. Uh, it's still bigger than the the small vintage fret wire. But uh, some guys uh, feel like the really tall wire uh, feels a little like kind of railroad ties, like a little train tracky. And the 6150 doesn't have that sensation, so it's real comfortable. Um, on this guitar, we put a bone nut. Uh, the guitar is shipped from Fender with a plastic nut. Uh, most guitars out there on the market ship with a plastic nut uh, or some sort of synthetic material. Um, bone is kind of the traditional traditional high-end material and so that's what we use uh, and then the nut slots are cut properly the actions adjusted properly the frets uh, the level crown and polish that we do on them after we do the refret it just plays really well this guitar is really nice low action we've uh, completely replaced the electronics on the guitar and uh, uh, we've put aftermarket pickups but we've also uh, replaced the controls and rewired it all of the original parts ship with the guitar. All of these guitars that we hot rod, we always send all of the original parts from Fender. So we've uh, completely rewired the guitar. Uh, we've replaced the components in here as well as the pickups. Uh, we do the components in here because we want to use the best components that are available. So we have CT, uh, CTS pots that we have made specifically for us from CTS, um, uh, specifically for Telecaster applications, um, and they're as good as it gets. We use a Switchcraft jack. Uh, which Fender doesn't use in the Mexican production. And uh, we've, we've replaced the three-way switch with a four-way switch to give you a little bit of additional tonal flexibility. Um, ordinarily with a Telecaster, all the way forward is the neck pickup, all the way back is the bridge pickup, and then in between you've got both pickups on in parallel. You may know that you can wire two coils together in parallel or series, and you get totally different tonality. Uh, parallel gives you the, sort of that bright, open, chiminess that we associate with Fender guitars. Uh, but series uh, combines the coils in the way that they're combined in a Gibson humbucker. Uh, you get, it's more powerful, it's louder, uh, it hits the amp harder, you get a little bit more gain, and it's just a little bit sort of fuller and warmer sounding. Uh, Fender started using these four-way switches uh, a, a while, actually a long time ago now. And their method was to have the rear three positions be the stock 
te uh, tele positions all the way forward, they added a series position. So you get these two coils together in series for that fourth tonal option. My personal opinion, we do offer that wiring, but my personal opinion is I'd rather be able to just hit the switch and go to the neck. I play, you too. I, I play a Telecaster, it's my main guitar, and I want to be able to be in the bridge position and the neck position by just hitting the switch. I use the neck position more than I use the series position. I have the same wiring in my guitar. And so what we've done is we've made the two interior positions parallel in series. So all the way back is the bridge, and then these two in parallel, and then these two in series, and all the way forward is the neck. Uh, and then, of course, uh, volume and tone. Um, for the pickups in this guitar, we use Lindy Fralin pickups. Uh, we used uh, uh, his Blue Special Bridge pickup, which is just a, basically a stock tele bridge, but it's, uh, it's about a 5% increase in output. Uh, so it's just going to be a little, a little bigger sounding. Um, I tend to think a 5% difference uh, as more of a, a tonal difference than a, like a gain difference. Um, it's just going to be a little fuller sounding, a little warmer, uh, you know, a little more mids. Um, the neck pickup, because this is a slightly overwound pickup, he makes a neck pickup with a 2% overwind to sort of complement that, and that's what this pickup is. Uh, so they are, uh, one of them is reverse wound, reverse polarity, so when you combine both of them, you do get hum canceling, and that's true both in the parallel and the series position. Both of those positions are hum canceling. Uh, so uh, it's a great sounding guitar. Uh, the final thing that we did is we replaced the saddles. I'm a fan of this three saddle Tele Bridge, but the problem with the stock saddles is they, you, you can't intonate them properly, and so the guitars always play out of tune. Uh, Callaham and a number of makers make saddles that are compensated so that they basically adjust the length of each string a little differently to make the guitar play and tune up and down the neck. Uh, so we put a set of Callaham saddles on here that are compensated, and we age them to sort of match the patina of the guitar. And... Uh, now the guitar plays in, in tune everywhere, and Dave will demonstrate that, but you can play chord uh, inversions all over the neck, and it will play in tune. It's, uh, it's a great enhancement for a, uh, any telly with uh, the three-saddle bridge. So I will put it in Dave's hands, and you will hear how it sounds. Let's start with the neck, neck pickup. position. I believe this is series. That's right.
but uh, this is both pickups parallel. <laughs> guitars like this that are available and uh, we can hot rod we got a bunch of others in stock so we're happy to do whatever you need done thanks a lot uh, for watching and we'll see you later